Hi, my name is Ryan McBee for My Payments. Today, I'm going to show you our integrated payment solution for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by hopping into BC. And we have a few different ways that you can run um, credit card transactions inside of BC. I wanna show you the most common way today, which is running a authorization and capture on a sales order. So let's go ahead and start by going to my customer card. And for the demo today, I'm gonna to use this customer right here. And so if we wanna store and tokenize a credit card, we do that by going here to actions, iPayments. And you can see right now I've got three credit cards stored. So if there's one of these I don't wanna use, I simply uh, click on that, I delete the line. And if there's a new one I wanna create, I'm just gonna go ahead and enter the card details. And after I enter it, I'm gonna hit save profile. And I have the option here to verify card. And basically what that, what this feature does is make, make sure the card numbers that I entered are valid. So in this case, we can see that the car credit card was approved. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of here and start by going to a new sales order. So let's find um, Fabricam. I'll click on that guy. So you can see I've entered uh, one line item for $1,000.80. So we're going to go up here and run an authorization for this sales order. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up the credit card that we tokenized. And you have the option actually to enter a card on the fly in case this is a one-time customer. So I'm going to hit authorize. And then we see here that the authorization amount is the document amount right here, $1,000.80. So let's just pretend that I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to add a freight line. Or in this example, I, I got my unit price wrong, and I'm going to go ahead and hit unit price, uh, $1,000.50. So the way our integrated payment solution works is when you go here to post the invoice, it's going to run a capture automatically in the background and we can see here the credit card submission was successful our journal line was created for this posted invoice so let's go ahead and open up this posted invoice and take a look at what happened behind the scenes so i'm going to go here to actions i payments and we can see here that my my capture amount was one thousand dollars and fifty cents which is different than my authorization amount um, and within this window, we have the ability to do refunds. Um, you can run additional captures. Um, so if you did not originally run an authorization on a on the sales order, you can come back in here and run your payment after it's been posted. One thing that's a little bit unique about our product in the marketplace is that we have a collections module that comes with our solution. And you can find that by going under here to sales and collections. So within here, um, basically what this is, this helps you manage all of your open AR for your customers. So we have a filter up here and I wanna see anything uh, that's above 90 days. So let's just filter that out. And I see, um, I wanna see all my open invoices. Uh, you can have action ID, action items here uh, for future uh, correspondences with your customer. So let's go ahead and um, pull up Fabricam. And I can see I've got two open invoices. And so um, the way this works is you can highlight one invoice, you can highlight all invoices, and you go here to manage, send email. And what's gonna happen is the customer is gonna get emailed um, these open invoices. And from there, um, we'll just go ahead and open up my email that I just got. And if I click on the, um, the invoice, I have a pay link. So right down here, it says pay with iPayments. And so we have a se secure payment link that uh, gives us our invoice number, the customer number, and the total amount due. 
So after your customer receives this link, they can pay the, the transaction and you'll be alerted once this has been processed. If you have any questions, you can find us on the link below. Um, our solution is in Microsoft App Source as well. Our, it does come with a free trial with a sample merchant account. So you can um, load this in your sandbox and play around with it. Feel free to ask us, reach out and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.